Okay, hi. So let me turn that off. I just got out of getting vaccinated. Your girl is first round done. Um, I hate shots, so hmm, having a great time. But the nurse was amazing. I freaking love nurses, but my mom's one, love nurses. I, <laughs> she was so distracting and she just pinched my skin and boom, she's like, okay, so you're gonna come back for your second one. And I'm like, it's done? I have a lot to do. I need to <laughs> film multiple videos. I need to start this vlog officially. I need to finish my makeup. I only did my makeup up here because I knew I had to wear a mask to be vaccinated because I hadn't planned on getting vaccinated today. I literally got the message last night and I was like, you know what? Duh. So yeah, I will update that I am listening to The Stand by Stephen King, which is a choice right now. I'm buddy reading it actually with my friend Katie. So definitely go check out Katie's channel, link it down below. Love her so much. I'm gonna go get Starbucks and I'm gonna get a cold brew because I can't I can't sleep today. We don't have time for naps today. Panned me at 5 p.m. taking a fat nap, but for now, I'm gonna believe that we're not taking naps. But we'll see. Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind. My mind. So just sit with me. Talking to the night until the morning building cat mystery. I don't think I ever Hello, so I'm home now. I have far too much energy, to be honest. So I am home from getting the vaccine. My arm is already a little sore, but honestly, I think it's because that nurse had like a death grip, which don't hate her for it because I was way more focused on the death grip than I was the fact that I was getting a needle shoved into my arm because I am very sensitive to shots, like in my brain. They freaked me out. Love her for that. It was so creepy. I think for a couple reasons going in there because it was at this like abandoned mall that I went to and it's only half abandoned. So the first couple stores when you walk in are open and they're still selling things. But the further you get in, there's like a food court. No one's there. <laughs> like everything's shut down. The tables are all cleared out. It was just really... It looked just like the mall from Stranger Things season three, except no one was there. There were no signs also where to go, but it was really easy. So like, don't, don't be freaked out to get it. Literally, you just sign up in your county. At least that's how they're doing it here. And then they sent me a thing that said I needed to make an appointment. Made an appointment last night for this morning. Then I went, they gave me the shot. They gave me a paper so that I can get my next dose. And then I had to wait for 15 minutes in like this observation room just to make sure that you were okay. My only thing is that I get so freaked out during shots that I will make myself lightheaded. I remember when I was getting a bunch of shots because I thought I wanted to be a nurse and to apply I had to have all these shots and I got like four or five, which probably not the best idea. Actually, it's probably three or four in one day and I literally had to stay at the care now for like an hour because I was so lightheaded from just forgetting to breathe. So that didn't happen this time luckily, but also was creepy and I was a little freaked out being there because I've decided to read The Stand by Stephen King. So this is the one that's about a pandemic, if you don't know. So far, I'm only, I think I'm about seven hours into the 48 hour audiobook. Yes, 48 hours. And I am really enjoying it so far. Surprisingly so. Um, it's really freaking creepy. I'm buddy reading this with my friend Katie. It's actually really unsettling. Like that's the best word to use to describe this book. It's just very unsettling because he's showing how quickly this spreads perfectly. Perfectly and I feel like everyone who tells me that I'm overreacting or Doesn't wear their mask or doesn't wear it properly should have to read this because it is so Creepy it shows exactly how easily everything can spread what I love slash also hate because it applies to the real world right now Is that it will just the subtlety of it'll end a chapter with 
and her throat started to tickle or he let out a soft cough or she sneezed twice but then also there is such a like scientific boom 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 way to him describing how like he was walking down the street and he infected this guy he infected the mailman he infected the milkman he infected the newspaper guy he infected da 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 da, da and he didn't even know it like everyone everyone's dying everyone you meet don't get attached to them because they died but also in this book listen i read it and awesome i checked it off my like bucket list i did not love it i love the movies so much more they give me like 80s i don't know if campy is the right word but like 80s scary movie but it's like a kids scary movie like it's a fun scary movie vibes um the book did not still you know woohoo read it cool this one though is actually getting to me because he is getting you attached to these characters and telling you so much about them and then the next page is like they're dead well okay sure so this chunker is 1300 pages so i don't know i'm probably not going to finish it this week but i will be listening to it on audio whenever i'm in the car or i'm doing anything that i can have something to listen to i'm going to probably try to film my bullet journal setup video after this clip so i'll probably listen to it then as well what else oh i just literally just got this package in the mail it is a pre-order from fairy loot i believe it's the third book in the curse so dark and lonely series which is a series that i need to catch up on i really really liked the first book a curse so dark and lonely i just haven't read the second one because i didn't want to read it without having this one and now i have this one i just think it's so funny how these ones are so short oh, hello in comparison to the um american edition i don't know why but i like them better they're so compact and they have like that shiny spine so that's nice um what else so that's what i'm currently reading what else do i even have to talk about oh i finished a freaking book last night ace of spades let's talk about it so this was pitched as gossip girl meets get out um head on perfectly done it was five star read first of all let's start there it was so good it was so creepy like it creeped me out so bad there is this part where the person who honestly gives me like pretty little liars a vibes they are chasing our main characters and they're wearing a mask and i pictured either the baby mask from happy death day which i like or the mask from the purge the first purge movie which i like more way creepier so i think i'm gonna go with that one <laughs> even though i've already read it but i did go with that one actually i'm telling you uh it was so creepy like it genuinely freaked me out and i had to go like let jake out and take him out last night after i just finished it this is about two characters we're following two people like two different povs they are the only two black students at this like elite private school and one of them is a girl and she is one of the popular girls but as soon as this thing called aces which is kind of like a was in pretty little liars starts to put out all this information and like drama and gossip um through text messages to all the students she is starting to quickly fall down that ladder and then we have our second character who is a guy who is really into music and all his music studies and he's a bit more under the radar he doesn't really participate in all of the social scene as much as our first character does but he still has stuff put out about him um i can't really say anything else because it has a twist that if i describe it anymore it could spoil it i don't want to give clues but i did not guess it i did not guess every twist i guessed a few but for every one that i guessed there were two more that i didn't so i really enjoyed that i really 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 liked the ending of this one i think it's going to be one of those that people either really like it or they really don't like it and i just really liked it i thought it was done really well i love i won't say what kind of ending it is but when it comes to scary movies and thrillers and books like this i like the kind of ending that was given in this book so i'll just leave it at that <laughs> so that doesn't give it away what kind of ending it is or what may happen but other than that that's i think all i have to talk about i do have an Illumicrate and a sips by box that i need to unbox this week i'll do that probably later because i want to get some editing done really quick and then also get some just other things i need to get done before tomorrow 
So, yeah. Hello guys, so uh, if you see my face is a little red here, don't pay attention to it, got sunburnt, <laughs> literally don't even, okay. Also these bones right here are this guy's. He likes to get bones when we're eating dinner, love that for him right after his dinner, and then he chews them until they're like just the end parts, and then he likes to scream i'm not kidding i'm gonna try to get it on camera at some point because it's just unreal until we give him those bones back so yeah well we have to take them and then put them up here and then he likes to come in and grab them after he eats i'm actually raising a child and um after this trial i'm good I'm good. So I am currently reading The Stand by Stephen King still. This is like actually a good time. I'm on page 284, chapter 27. So I'm really not that far into it at all, although it feels like I am. But this is basically, this whole section is just the beginning. Like it's not, it's just showing how this pandemic started and kind of what everyone's doing in it. There was this scene of all of the militarization of these cities and how the, god what's it called, National Guard came in and kind of took over and it showed the infighting of the two National Guards and then this one thing that actually kind of like really chilled me <laughs> was a radio host was taking calls from people and he was then gunned down by the national guard and it was just like wow okay and there was another one where it was the i think it might have been the television host someone basically outed that it was a virus created by insert here and everything was not true and blah 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 and honestly i don't feel like these are spoilers because First of all, this came out in the 80s, perhaps 70s. So I think we're good there. This copy is 2007. Yeah, it was 1978. I think we're good. But what was I gonna say? Basically, it has the things that I really like, like government cover-up, conspiracy, all of that stuff. But I have a feeling, so I was talking to my mom because this is her favorite King book, and she was saying that it's more of a like story between those who stay or turn good after these horrible events, and then those who like turn evil or play into evil or whatever. And it's what about way more than just this like super flu which is pretty cool i didn't know it was gonna go like that and then katie who i'm buddy reading it with we have just been talking about how like it's so much different than it we both read it i got halfway through pet cemetery and i still have not finished it so we're gonna retry it for the third year in a row this year maybe during the summer ween but we were just talking about how this is so much more fun and easier to read than it was it is just like this is actually unsettling and creepy like the parts where the people like they still have it where they're coughing and this person is trying to reassure the people of america that it's not a government cover-up it's just a normal flu there's gonna be a uh, shot and a vaccine out soon don't even worry about it and in between like each line he is coughing and then he's not unable to finish his speech which is all symptoms of this thing so it's just the way it's paced out is so good the problem is i'm already starting to like these characters i like the character nick i i just know because i do he's gonna die larry i would sacrifice um there's another guy who's being held by the government who was like really not here for getting his blood pressure taken his name just escapes me every time. I want more of him. I haven't seen him in a while, so. But, well, I mean, with Stephen King, I mean, 300 pages is literally nothing. So, yeah. I am glad, though, that I got the un... Not unabridged, but basically the uncut version. Because I just want to know more. 
just more and more, you know? So, this is a good time. But I'm listening to it on audio, so it's a little slow rolling. Probably gonna roll over into next week, and honestly, it might be a while. But I'm reading it much, much, much faster than I thought I would. The next one I picked up is Actor Age, Eve Brown. This one is the third installment in the Brown Sisters romance trilogy. And uh, the first is Chloe, the second one is about Danny, and then the third is about Eve. Eve is the youngest Brown sister and she pretty much just doesn't have it together at all. So far what I've read is only like one or two chapters, but she's basically job hopping. She doesn't really know what she wants to do with her life. She's 26. She doesn't have a career. Her parents are kind of over her just doing whatever she wants and not really settling with one idea and kind of like actually sticking with something. So they challenge her to taking away her trust fund, which man, I'd love to have that as a threat against me. And she goes for a drive and finds this place that's looking for a chef or a cook one of the two. And that's where we meet, I believe, who's gonna be our love interest, Jacob. And what I really noticed, honestly, first, right off the bat, oh, he's crying about the bone now. That was fast. I'll never understand him. Cause look, now he's just happy. It's so weird. But the, she has like, I guess they're trigger warnings at the beginning because I believe there's an autistic character, uh, Jacob, the love interest is autistic and he what's it called oh what's it called i'm assuming something bad happens because the trigger warning said that there are ableist terms utilized in the book like as a problem i'm assuming they have to overcome or deal with so i just think that that's so cool to put them right there in the front and center and just like really let people know what's gonna go on just in case you know anything happens. Um, but I've always been a fan of Hibbert's books and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna like this one just as much. I think that they are so freaking funny. The first one, I mean the first page of this book already had me laughing so it's already a good time. But there was another thing I wanted to do and I, oh god, I'm excited because I actually have a giveaway for you guys which you know, love a giveaway moment, feeling like Oprah. So this is actually with a company that reached out to me who makes reading lights um, called Vaunt. And I have this one, which is a clip-on light. And then I have this one, which is a clip-on specifically for reading light. So I have a Kindle and it does have backlight, but sometimes I want to read a physical book because I'm I just have that copy and I don't want to buy every single book I own on Kindle. So this is really nice to have and it's so compact and small and I'll definitely like obviously have some footage in here so you guys can see the actual like lights in progress. But I got a light just like this uh, about a year and a half ago and I remember a bunch of people commenting on my videos asking where I got it and I literally would say well I got it from here but I don't recommend it because it gets so dim so fast it is not that great but I can tell you right now this one I've used it for a little bit now and it is so much brighter and what I like about it is it's so much thinner than the other one I have so whenever my partner goes to sleep and I still want to read books I don't have to have this huge like this literally looks like heaven over here light going on, you know? So I just thought that that was really awesome. So because that is the light that I swear I've gotten the absolute most questions on, I am gonna actually be doing a giveaway of one just like this. So to enter below, hmm. Ooh, what I wanted, okay, you know what? So actually, I'm excited for this. So, if you want to enter the giveaway below, you can put in the comment this is for the giveaway, but um, this is such a specific question that there's like really no reason you would write it unless you're entering the giveaway. It is US only, just by the way. But enter below by answering the question like, what is the lightest, fluffiest read, like your go-to happy book? Or when you're in a reading slump, like when you just want to feel better, what is the lightest, get it, light? <laughs> She's so clever. She's so funny. Who is she? Miss America. Read that you have. And let me know, Minds of Diviners, is it about a demon serial killer? Yep. Fitting. Comment that below. And then I will pick a winner and I will DM you. Well, I'll comment on your comment and then 
we'll, we'll exchange info and we'll get it started in here. We'll get it started in ha. And then also, just in general, if you want to check this out, I will leave it linked at the very top of my description. And I also have a discount code, which is this right here. So if you happen to want to get one for yourself, you want to get this little guy too, it's down there. I, I don't get anything from that. They just gave me a discount code. I thought that was pretty cool. So there you go. So anyways, now I just got back from the post office and I am going to probably honestly finish up my Patreon letters and be able to get those out tomorrow. And then I'm going to honestly, hopefully start on a little bit more of what Sigma Colds. Act your age, Eve Brown. The cover's purple, I'm purple. This sounds great. Do I want, I'm gonna also chug this water bottle I have over here so that I can justify making another latte at 7.46 PM. We love it for me. To those who keep commenting, don't drink so much caffeine. It's decaf, but I'm whispering it because that's not very on brand, you know? Actually, I feel like it's really on brand because those who drink decaf just like the taste of coffee, which is me. I just like the taste of coffee so much. Brings me joy, does spark joy. So anywho, I'm gonna go and uh, yeah, peace and blessings. Friendos, this is not what I do. This is not the end of the vlog. I am so rusty from not vlogging for a month. Can this I is tragic. Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday I wanted to show you this rainbow shelf I did. When it's sunny later, well, tomorrow, because it's nighttime now, it's 6.13, and I've made me nighttime coffee. It's a little decaf latte moment. I'm gonna show you this in a better lighting, because I'm really proud of it. This is, so I don't know if Chelsea watches my videos like that, but, oh my God, Jake. Calm down on the bone chewing. Uh, but this is, I call this my Chelsea shelf because it just, I want to be the rainbow bookshelves contemporary read so bad, but I'm just not. <laughs> I'm like all the dark books and all of like murder. So love that for me. I am in the middle of reading this one for a vlog I'm doing with my friend Katie. I am chapter five. 75 or 70 pages in and this is actually what I'm gonna be focusing on tonight But I'm gonna do that for a little bit Hopefully get at least within like I only have a hundred pages to read tomorrow because we have to do like our little It's a whole thing to explain. You'll just see when the video finally comes out, but I really want to read some more of Eve Brown So I'm motivated to do that and I got this little guy this is a stand for my iPad to go on the table right next to my computer because I want to put obviously my iPad on it and I want to have like some ASMR background playing in there but I don't like having it on my phone because I like to have my forest app and you I can't I'm not I'm not paying for YouTube premium so can't have both going at the same time but yeah hopefully that's gonna solve my problem the only issue is I have a huge box of book sleeves that I now don't really know where to put because those go on that table so I'll figure it out but I have 
an Illumo crate to unbox and I'm very excited for it because I believe this is a space opera book and I am right now in the mood for contemporary, maybe some murder mystery and middle grade, but well in young adult, but like classic young adult, not the new young adult that's basically just like 25 year olds. Basically the written format of Riverdale where the characters act like they're 25 but they're 17. Um, and usually that phase is followed by a phase of extreme need for sci-fi. So hopefully this will occur then, but this is our theme for January and I am very happy with the way that this book looks and you'll see the sprayed edges are beautiful. So we have our pin, which I love and I have three pin holders now to add this to. I'm like, I have a problem. Luckily I haven't fallen into buying a bunch of pins, but who knows? Then we have some tea, which can go on the old tea cart. And it is a classic mint tea with peppermint leaves and nothing but. I love that. Mint tea is my go-to, I'm anxious, help me, mode. Which I've been thinking about filming a reading vlog of like, I can't plan it though because my anxiety has gone down a lot since like last year. Actually, probably two years ago was at its worst. So I can't plan when I would do it, but I was thinking about doing a reading vlog of kind of my reading routine how I use reading and relaxing to like help with my anxiety, but I don't know if that would be interesting or triggering for people. So yeah, also it all, it depends on if I'm in my anxiety mode and I even want to film because <laughs> there's that. Then there is this puzzle kind of kit where you can piece together essentially a story, which I think is a really cute idea. And here, this is, I don't, Man, all these authors have to get their own shelves. Like, I have too much going on. But this is the Folk of Air series, and this is just a puzzle, which I'm assuming will end up looking like these. And honestly, the way that they're looking at each other, they look mad. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I just like the spine too. I like how it kind of looks like a little book thing, so I could just like, slide it onto my shelf which is really cool and then we have some fuzzy socks which i pretty much only wear either my house slippers or fuzzy socks when i'm not at work so that's perfect and then we have all of these bookmarks which fall into miss moss's a court of thorns and roses series and y'all know the next book is coming out soon are you excited because i'm excited i really I really can't wait. I'm getting more excited because I'm like, you know what? Let me just buy in to my Sarah J Mass trash. Although Crescent City honestly kind of ruined the other books for me because I'm like, dang, this is so good. Throne of Glass, forever the best. House of Earth and Blood, right there. Akatar, can't even see her anymore. And then we have the book and the sprayed edges you can see are like this mint, which are so beautiful, but it is a winter's orbit. I love the way that they chose the sprayed edges color for this book. Like I think it just looks so beautiful with these colors, the sunset, this deep purple, like, mm. Mm. and the one line, one match can light up an empire like that just sounds great. And I, from what I read, this is essentially a space opera with high stakes, multi-world politics and irresistibly engaging characters, which is perfect because I love books that talk about politics. Specifically, I like sci-fi books. I like it in my fantasy as well, but if I had to pick, I like the sci-fi ones because I just think they are cooler. When it comes to fantasy, so many fantasy that I have read, I have a lot on my list that don't fall into this category, but the ones that I have read so far are very medieval-esque, so it almost feels like I'm reading politics in the past, whereas here there's, you know, intergalactic politics, which is just interesting. It's all a take on our modern politics, right? But I like, you know, having all of these 
aliens and different planets all that involved so i am excited to get to this one because it actually was on my list which i feel like illuminate is really helping me branch out lately to try different it's not genres but to try different age categories i'm very much a middle grade young adult person but I am realizing it doesn't matter what age range it is. I just like sci-fi and fantasy and thrillers, period. Just some of them are better than others in each of these categories. So yeah, that's it for this little unboxing. Now I am going to go so that I can actually get started on this book and hopefully get it done so that I can read Eve Brown. Because y'all... You should take it from me because when I say a romance is good, to me that's like, oh wow, this must be good. <laughs> of course, we all have different opinions, but mine's right. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow or, well, no, yeah, it'll be tomorrow because any updates that come after this will be for the Shadow and Bone vlog. I met an old man. I said, tell me your story. Okay, hi! Welcome to the Struggle Bus. Look, this is my gothic romance t-shirt. I got it at the same place that I got my anxiety one that a lot of people asked about in my my TBR video, I think it was. Um, it's Fugly Barbie <laughs> on Etsy. I freaking love the name. Um, I got an ad for them, I think, on Instagram. It was either an ad or one of the, um, was it, I think it was a book blogger that I follow posted them. I mean, I saw the book blogger as well after I bought it, but honestly could have been their post too. Anyways, 10 out of 10 recommend. So comfortable. I got a cryptid Disneyland sweatshirt. So it's got like the Disney Cinderella iconic castle, but it's cryptid land. So I'll show that in a vlog whenever I wear it. But I am feeling sad <laughs> and really unmotivated. So I have finished Shadow and Bone. Praise God. I'm not starting Siege and Storm because I'm going to give myself a break this weekend. I'm going to actually try to finish Actor Age Eve Brown. So I'm going to grab a water from this mini fridge. Shout out if you were here during the summertime. And I'm going to walk on the treadmill, read Eve Brown, and be Katie Coulson because she walks and reads all the time. Now, I'm like, I can't do it outside. I thought about doing it outside. First of all, I'd be perceived by people and that disgusts me. Second of all, I am not good at walking, like balance-wise, so I would trip, fall, and take a tumble, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, I did this morning go to the store with my partner and we got candy for all my students. I'm making them Valentine's, <laughs> which I know is so lame, but I also have to go grab donuts tomorrow for them because I had like a vocab tournament. If you're a teacher, I use GimKit. I pay for it monthly because they just love it so much and I recommend it to teachers but why I mention that I pay for it is because it's a paid service. You can get it for like 14 days or so and you could extend your trial but after that you have to pay and it's only like nine bucks a month so I'm like totally worth it. We use it all the time and if your boss will fund it for you and buy it for the district, let them know. I have the data <laughs> to prove that it improves their studying and also I realized 2020 to 2021 is not the year to uh, just assume kids are going to study vocab at home because I'm not trying to put more stress on them. I'm not trying to put more stress on me when we have to retake the vocab quizzes. So we're just studying it in class and I made it a huge tournament and whoever had the longest time that like won because the floor is lava so it was rising up as they were getting the answers right. The more you got right, the higher your building was um, and it wouldn't sink into the lava. I promised an edible food. I mean, no, I didn't say that. That would have been better. I should have said a food prize. I said an edible prize. And the only class that called me on it was my honors English class. And this girl from the back just goes, Miss is gonna bring us edibles. <laughs> and I was like, no, she's not. Yeah, that was that was my Friday. And this is why I love teaching this age because they're so freaking hilarious. But I'm going to now 
think about how I want to do the Valentine's because that's going to take a minute to plan out. And then I'm going to walk on the treadmill, read Eve Brown. I'll get back to you on how I'm feeling about it. But for right now, let's grab a water. Let's get water. Get walking. Hello, sunspot. And yeah, that's it. Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Hello, so it is Sunday evening-ish. Yeah, it's 4.52. I just got done on the treadmill. I only walked like 30, 35 minutes-ish because I'm feeling really tired and my knee hurts, honestly. But I was just about to get in the shower, but I wanted to update that I am 66% into Eve Brown. Absolutely loving it. It is so good. I hope to finish it tonight, but I need to film this outro clip so that I can get the vlog edited and ready to go because I think I have a staff meeting tomorrow night and I'm not gonna wanna do it tomorrow. So uh, yeah, still reading The Stand, still reading Eve Brown, but made some progress in a lot of books. Finished two this week, Shadow and Bone and Ace of Spades, so clapped. Anyways, emoji, plant. There's a new plant emoji that's like in a little pot. I have it in my description. I literally found something to use it for because I just wanted it there. But um, yeah, any plant emoji will do. Flowers, trees, leaves, whatever you like. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night whenever you're watching this and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!